the Republican Party. It's the only party that Mitch McConnell has ever been invited to. Party people in the house say ma. Ever since Donald Trump got the party's presidential nomination in 2016, the GOP has been divided between politicians who love Trump's brash, grab him by the pussy style, and those who believe in more traditional Republican values, like telling poor people to stop being poor. And now, one of the last holdouts among the anti-Trump traditionalists may be about to get the boot. Tonight, the firestorm over Congresswoman Liz Cheney's position in the Republican Party is growing, with top Republican Steve Scalise saying she needs to be removed from her role as the third-ranking GOP leader. At issue, Cheney's fierce criticism of former President Trump, arguing he should not be a part of the GOP's future after the Capitol attack and his false claims of election fraud. I think that it was, uh, was the gravest violation of an oath of office by any president in American history. Cheney survived one removal vote after she voted to impeach Mr. Trump in January. But her GOP critics have only gotten louder. Another removal vote is likely to come next week on Wednesday. Top House Republican Kevin McCarthy caught on a hot mic obtained by media. I've had it with her. It's, you know, I, I've lost confidence. Liz Cheney remains defiant, warning her colleagues in a new Washington Post op-ed that history is watching, calling this a turning point. Uh, the GOP is at a turning point? Nigga, that happened a long time ago. Don't you remember Jeb Bush flying out of the car? That was the turn. That was the ultimate turn. Still, though, I gotta give props to Liz Cheney for risking her political career to stand up for what she believes in. Because you don't see that very often. You know, it's like seeing someone use an iPhone as an actual phone. You're always like, damn, shit, I totally forgot that they could do that. Wow. Say what's up to my grandmother for me, man. And yes, it is a little weird to see a party be so loyal to a guy who doesn't have a loyal bone in his body, or possibly any bones in his body, but loyalty to Trump is a defining principle of the GOP right now. And if she doesn't agree with that, it doesn't make much sense for her to be one of the party's leaders. You know, like I think Greta Thunberg makes some great points, but I don't think that she should be on the board of ExxonMobil. Have we considered that instead of selling oil, you all go to prison for killing the planet? Uh, can you stop proposing that every meeting? Who invites her to these things? Why is she here? And you might think it's weird that the party is so outraged over one person saying Donald Trump lost the election, but the reason they're so mad about Liz Cheney is that they don't accept that it's the truth. 70% of Republicans think Joe Biden probably stole the election. And even now, there are still efforts going on to overturn the results in close states, including a big one in Arizona. A pitched partisan battle over the 2020 election is raging on in Arizona right now. The GOP-controlled state Senate is carrying out a third audit of Arizona's largest county, even though two prior bipartisan audits found zero evidence of widespread fraud or other issues. The audit is being conducted by people who participated in the insurrections. Anthony Kern, a former state lawmaker who was at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, is among the people helping to count and inspect Maricopa County ballots. Overseeing the exercise, a Florida cybersecurity firm called Cyber Ninjas. It's run by someone who amplified election conspiracy theories. Hell yeah! The Arizona votes are being recounted by Cyber Ninjas. Hiya, hiya! Modem punch! Serve a chop! Hiya! I mean, I thought regular ninjas were cool, but cyber ninjas? Woo! Those are the kind of ninjas who'll steal your Wi-Fi password, and then when you turn around to look for them, your head falls off. Guys, I really love ninjas. Like, ever since I was a little kid, my 10th birthday party was me and a big group of invisible ninjas. And now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize my mom just told me that because no one showed up. Mom! Now, you might think it's crazy to have election conspiracy theorists in charge of an election audit. But to me, this makes perfect sense. Because don't forget, this is the third audit they've done in Arizona. At this point, you aren't going through the effort of counting again unless you know the guys you're hiring are gonna give you the result you want. This is just smart. And if you're wondering how a bunch of conspiracy nuts are going to turn a Biden win into a Trump win, the answer is in the craziest way possible.
The Arizona Senate's ballot recount has been plagued with questions from the beginning. Investigative reporter Morgan Lowe exposed major security lapses, such as open doors, that allowed access to equipment and ballots. It was also reported blue pens that can be used to alter ballots were handed out to volunteers. On Friday, a judge ordered Cyber Ninjas, the private company hired to do the audit, provide documents outlining their procedures. Among the many conspiratorial revelations from the release of the internal Cyber Ninja documents, an intense fear of an attack and breach by Antifa and the use of UV light to look for fraud. According to a QAnon theory, the UV light will reveal watermarks that Donald Trump put on the ballots to trap cheating Democrats. Another bizarre twist that I was just telling you about moments ago in the Arizona audit, auditors are now looking for bamboo in ballots. Audit official John Brakey says there are accusations that 40,000 ballots were smuggled in from Asia. While there's no evidence of this, Brakey says auditors are using cameras now to look for bamboo fibers in ballot paper. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry, no. America's not real, no. These dudes are searching the ballots for bamboo. Like a bunch of starving pandas. Like, who are these people? You know, sometimes, sometimes I actually wish that I was a conspiracy theorist because there is never a dull moment. Like, they can turn a regular-ass Thursday into an Indiana Jones movie like this. And just so you know, they've been looking at these ballots with UV lights for two weeks now, and they haven't found any secret watermarks. But they did find that 98% of the ballots have jizz on them. Yeah, this is why you can't put curtains on voting booths. People are disgusting. Now, it's easy to dismiss this Arizona audit, but there's at least one person who's pretty sure that it's gonna put Donald Trump back in power. And you'll never guess who that person is. Former President Donald Trump, meanwhile, continues to perpetuate the big lie about election fraud. Video has surfaced of him addressing a crowd at Mar-a-Lago last Wednesday, discussing the Republican-led recount that's currently underway in Arizona's Maricopa County. Let's see what they find. I wouldn't be surprised if they found thousands and thousands and thousands of votes. So we're going to watch that very closely. And after that, you'll watch Pennsylvania and you'll watch Georgia and you're going to watch Michigan and uh, Wisconsin and you're watching New Hampshire. They found a lot of votes up in New Hampshire just now. Oh my God, Donald, what happened to you? This guy was the president of the United States just a few months ago, and now he's like the world's worst wedding DJ. And I'm not even gloating here. It is sad to see DJT reduced to crashing parties at Mar-a-Lago. In fact, if they were smart, Mar-a-Lago would charge you extra to have Trump not appear at your wedding. Um, if possible, could we not have the former president interrupt my father-daughter dance to rant about the stolen election? Ooh. You want to spring for the deluxe package? Of course, darling. I do feel, though, that we're discovering a new rule of physics here. If Donald Trump comes into contact with a microphone, he's gonna ramble about how the election was rigged. Doesn't even have to be a wedding. He'll take over anything. It could even be a funeral. And we just saw that they found some votes in Pennsylvania. So unlike Timothy here, we're very much alive, people. Very much alive. But look, the truth is, Trump ranting about the stolen election to an audience that eats up every word, that is the Republican Party right now. And it looks more and more like that's not a party Liz Cheney can be a leader in.